<sighs> I wonder what kind of video I can make today. Hmm. Day in the life of my Doberman puppy by the number one Doberman YouTuber herself, Brooke House. All right, so there has to be some, some good advice and really good information I should be able to get in this video, like what brands I should show off to the side of my screen. Basically every morning what happens is he wakes me up by whining. He's crate trained so he sleeps in his crate, which I put in the closet, which you might be like, isn't that like kind of low key Harry Potter, bro? Like why would you put your dog in the closet? <sighs> wow, another day of being a YouTuber. Uh, there's that sound again. Oh man, all right, come on. Hey, let me put this away, but you guys saw that I use a prong collar. People call those collars different things, honestly. I've seen people in my comments call them choke collars. I've seen people in my comments call them torture collars. They wouldn't sell a collar on the market that would literally like hurt your dog. Now, I think we can agree that there are two types of training. There's positive reinforcement training and negative reinforcement. Whatever training method you use, we can agree that there are tools in those methods. To say that there's no item out there being sold that will hurt a dog, I feel like that's false. You ever take an electric collar and put it on your neck and set it to volume 10 and shock yourself? That hurts. <laughs> Yeah. All right, we're going to do that, right? A nine. What's that the viewers doing? Jesus. Right? Like, yeah, my would get me. Damn, those in. Okay, go. Ow! <laughs> Don't go trying to defend something that can hurt your dog if used improperly. Also, if we're going to be talking about dangerous tools for your dog, Brooke Houts, your hands are just destructive. <laughs> Blah, blah, let's cut her excuse as to why she can't train her dog. He's a big dog. And I know you guys are going to be like, well, just teach your dog to not pull on the leash. When you have a dog that's eight months old, that is around like 70 pounds or so, even if he's not trying to pull me, it's like he does anyway. And because he's so strong, it can literally knock me to the ground. All right. So right now I'm just looking for a camera spot to set up the phone. I'm holding it in one hand and just trying to find another spot with the other. And, uh, I don't know. You know, I just, I just can't find one. I, hmm, 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 hmm. <laughs> where, oh, where, oh, there's one. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look, dog's over there. Oh, can't control 80 pound dog, what? 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 The ground one time we were walking down our stairs and he literally like pulled me down the stairs and i don't mean in like a nice like here mom let me help you kind of way but he's very strong and he doesn't even know it you need to relax yikes now here's a little disclaimer she's gonna give you one of the prong collar but i want to give you mine i've never used a prong collar if they're used right and properly it can be a good thing for a dog if it's used by a trainer who knows what they're doing. You get what I'm getting at without saying I've never it. used one. I've never had to use one. I just use positive reinforcement. If Cyber's not pulling on a leash, he gets a treat. That's, that's my mindset when it came to that. Before I even got Cyber, I knew that these dogs were big dogs and require a lot of exercise. And I tried to find means to get that energy out of him so he's not pulling the leash, you know? I'm just a small YouTuber who doesn't know anything, so. So, like I said, I don't know. So, let's just see what Brooke Houts has to say about the collar in her video. This is from her video. Abusive hands. This isn't that right, buddy. This is so overexposed right now, but I don't want to stop petting you because you're so cute. What's your name? I've had this guy, oh my gosh. Since he was eight weeks old, I've had this puppy. Trust me, I know him so well. I love him. He loves me. We're two peas in a pod. All right, so I know what you're thinking. Derek, you've made two videos on her already. Why do you keep making videos on it? And I just think I have a perspective on the situation that can show you some things, like how many things you can do in between jump cuts. Maybe you've noticed, but I changed my sweatshirt. That takes a long time. Hitting your dog, though, doesn't take that long. 
Mmm, big brain. He's really good about keeping himself entertained. Like, he does this all day. <laughs> I'm making breakfast and I walk over into the bathroom and look who is in the shower. Look who it is. Did you want to shower or something or are you just chilling? Hey, bud. <laughs> Hopefully you guys saw the show called You, otherwise that scene makes no sense. I was watching her vlog and I just got Joe vibes from her dog just being in a glass box. All jokes aside guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know if you guys want to see anything in the near future. I've mentioned videos coming out and those are in the works. However, I wanted to put this out today just to give me more time to work on those really important projects. So uh, yeah, just wanted to make an announcement. Don't know what I'm going to call this video, but... Thanks for watching. What a weird outro. Can you help me with the outro? Sorry, bro. I said, can you help me with the outro? Can you help me with the outro? Can you help me with the outro? <laughs> okay, you guys.